Well, President Biden hosted the Kennedy Center honorees at the White House last night. This year's honorees featured Gladys Knight, George Clooney, and the members of U2. And Gladys Knight looks incredible, by she, the way. Oh, my goodness. And that gorgeous red oh, dress goodness. she had on, it was perfection. Uh, it is the nation's highest honor for those who shape American culture. And Tommy McFly was on the red carpet catching up with the honorees before the 45th annual ceremony. I'm loving it, every minute of it, and I hope everybody feels the same. At the Kennedy Center, it was a Gladys night for sure, honoring her, George Clooney, you 2 Amy Grant, and Tanya Leone for their contributions to American culture. But keeping it local, Howard University got us started. H U, you know. George Clooney and Mal Clooney, how are you? Congratulations. Good. Thank you. What do you think tonight means for your parents who are in town tonight? I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? You think they... Uh... They're really proud. Yeah, it feels like they're proud. Yeah. What do you think his biggest accomplishment is? Oh my goodness, so my, many that my, he's already my, being honored for, and I think he's just getting started. My dancing skills, would <laughs> you say? Your dancing skills are also exemplary. My dancing yeah. skills. Too. It was amazing to see you on stage at the White House and hear the president talk about how amazing you are, and I agreed with it all. Everyone's like, hey, the pips, the pips, the pips, but let's get a roll call. Raphael Thomas. Hi, I'm Jerron Gilchrist. I'm Asiel Hardison. What was that moment when you told your parents, your family, you're like, no, I'm going to be one of the pips? Like, what was that reaction at home? My dad said, oh, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I just seen Gladys on TV the other day. It's the work that you do. It's the heart that you have. It's the mind. If I open up your phone right now, what's the first U2 song that would play? With or without you. 100%? Yeah. Nice. That's it. <laughs> it would have to probably be with or without you. Some of my songs are so derivative of U2 that I break into U2 songs and is a joke live, just so I can acknowledge how influenced I am by them. One. Yeah, that's the one. It's funny, we were just at the White House, and the president got up, and the first person he introduces is me, and I'm introduced as Amal Clooney's husband. <laughs> and nothing could make me prouder. At the Kennedy Center, Tommy McFly, News 4.